Oh hi, hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv and today I'm going to discuss the jailbreak techniques for, no I'm just joking. Today I'm going to talk about the iPhone 2.2.1 jailbreak availability. I'm not going to actually show you guys this time, mainly because the process is exactly the same as before. Um, as I was looking at how to do it and the rules and everything behind it, I thought to myself, do I really want to produce a video on the same exact process? Because there's really no change at all. The rules are the same. Uh, if you don't care about unlocking, go ahead and use Quick Pwn. If you do, use Punish Tool. And uh, the only caveat was another video I did was, which talks about some of the 10.5.6 and Mac, so Mac OS 10 10.5.6, some of the glitches and gotchas with the USB drivers. That was it. And uh, I've already I've already jailbroken this. This is at 10.51 now. See, MGS. Um, and uh, it's uh, so far so good. Nothing's broken. I did it today. Actually, I did it this morning. Um, nothing's broken as far as I can tell. I didn't notice any improvements either. So take what take with that whatever you will. But in case you are wondering, go to the iPhone Dev Team blog. And uh, a lot of people ask me a lot. <laughs> Excuse me. A lot of people ask me all the time, where do you download Ponies Tool? And for the life of me, I can't understand the confusion. If you go to blog.iphone-dev.org, at the bottom, they have official BitTorrent releases. Okay? Official. If you don't know what BitTorrent is, now's the time to learn. Please, go to Google, type in BitTorrent. B-I-T-T-O-R-R-E-N-T. -T. Learn about it. Get a client. They got clients for every every platform. There's a uTorrent or MicroTorrent for Windows. There's a transmission for Mac. There's a uTorrent for Mac. There's Vuz, V-U-Z-E. Um, there's an official BitTorrent client. Tons of other clients out there. Learn BitTorrent. You, you'll be happy. So, that's where I get my downloads from. I use the official BitTorrent releases from the iPhone Dev Team. Now you'll notice below that they have <coughs> they have links. They have unofficial mirrors. These are unofficial for a reason, and uh, I don't trust them completely. Even though they do have the uh, the SHA1 MD5 sums, I believe they're MD, no the SHA1 sums. They're like fingerprints for the files, so you can tell if you got the right one. Go with the BitTorrent, it's hard to go wrong there. So once you get past that hurdle, it's the same exact process as before. So go back and, um, and view my 2.2 jailbreak <coughs> how-to. It's exactly the same process. Now I have a little bit of a tidbit of some good news for you iPod Touch owners. iPod Touch 2G owners. Now these iPod Touch 2G owners who should be listening are the ones who are willing to jump off a bridge with a parachute that somebody said had a parachute in it but you don't know if it had a parachute in it or not this is a big big step there is a program called red snow which is designed to jailbreak the ipod touch 2g second generation they have an unofficial tethered is what they call it tethered light version that's not supported so you'll be totally on your own I won't help you the dev team won't help you the red snow people won't help you the yellow snow people won't help you heck the white snow people won't help you you'll be completely on your own doing this technique now I'll put the link it's red snow snow is spelled with a zero dot com dot com they gotta read me dot text if you don't read read me dot texas don't do this please please there are millions of landfills out there who don't want to be occupied with iPod touches we do not need any more bricks no more bricks in the landfills people because I know you're not going to recycle them you're going to throw them in the garbage because you're going to be mad you can't break my iPod touch <laughs> No, landfills don't want any more iPod. So read the readme.txt, please. Birdie, please. Read the readme.txt. 
Once you've read it twice or three times or four times, then ask yourself, can I really afford to buy a brand new iPod Touch 2G? Hmm. Because this process will most likely break it and it will occupy a landfill and it will make Buona cry in his sleep and every Yeah. Don't yeah, read it. Be very, very careful. Very, very low level technique. That's all I gotta say. I've been stressing that. You gotta have some really big braveness to do this. Okay? I bought Touch 2G, Red Snow is available. But it's raw and it's light and it's unsupported. So be very, very careful. So that's pretty much all I have for the 2.2.1 news as far as the iPhone and the iPod Touch jailbreak techniques. The iPhone is pretty simple. <clears throat> Same as before. Quick phone is very good. Um, make sure if you are using a Mac on Mac OS 10, 10.56, you may encounter issues with the DFU mode. That's when things lock up and everything goes crazy. So go back and look at my video on that. Or they have detailed information on blog.iphonedev.org. That's blog.iphone-dev.org. Read it. It's a very long blog post. A lot of good information in there. So you guys should be able to update the 2.2.1 now and jailbreak if you're on the iPod Touch 1G and iPhone 3G and iPhone 1G. Kind of weird, isn't it? All right, this is Buona from Buona.tv. Get to jailbreaking, people, because it's time. Bye.